thank you. Please join me in welcoming to the stage the president of Bush Gardens and Adventure Island, Neil Thurman. Good evening, everybody. You excited? The wait is almost over. Welcome to the opening celebration of the most highly anticipated roller coaster, Iron Gwazi. It is our pleasure to welcome you to Busch Gardens tonight, where you can experience the thrill of the world's fastest, steepest hybrid roller coaster and the tallest hybrid roller coaster in North America. Busch Gardens is dedicated to providing experiences that matter and inspire our guests to protect animals and the wild wonders of the world. Created by our wonderful partners at Rocky Mountain Construction, Iron Gwazi is an experience you will never forget. After reaching the top of the 206 foot tall lift hill behind me, Iron Gwazi dives down a 91 degree drop, reaching speeds of 76 miles per hour. There's some excited people up there. With 12 heart pounding airtime moments and three inversions, Iron Gwazi is a nonstop action packed thrill machine. As part of our mission to inspire guests to protect animals and the wild wonders of the world. <laughs> they haven't even been on the ride yet. I'm a little worried about those first riders. We are honored to have the Wilderness Foundation Africa as our first official conservation partner for the most highly anticipated coaster of the year, Iron Gwazi. Wilderness Foundation Africa works from its base in South Africa to protect and sustain wildlife and wilderness through integrated conservation and education programs. Whether it is direct action, anti-poaching in the field, large landscape wilderness management, or developing rising young leaders from disadvantaged communities for a career in conservation, the Wilderness Foundation has over 45 years of results. I am honored to announce that a portion of the proceeds from the Iron Gwazi merchandise will be donated to Wilderness Foundation Africa. As part of the Wilderness Foundation Africa Global Network, we are pleased to have the president of the Wild Foundation, Vance Martin, joining us tonight. The Wild Foundation is a U.S.-based, globally focused, not-for-profit, originally founded in South Africa. Vance has lived or worked in more than 80 countries, implementing WILD's global vision and working with many of WILD's projects. Vance is an expert in anti-poaching and local community-led conservation around the world. Please welcome to the stage, Vance Martin. Thank you, Neil. Welcome. Okay, so I have an admission here. Um, I went on my ride this afternoon, and I can tell you it's frigging awesome. Um, and I called my team, our office uh, here in the States is back in, in Colorado, where it was minus seven tonight. Um, I called them and I said, well, I survived it, and it was fun. And they said, how would you describe it? And I said, it was either the shortest or the longest 90 seconds of my life. I'm not sure. Anyhow, um, I'm representing Andrew Muir from Wilderness Foundation Africa. The, Andrew's my closest working colleague and friend for many years. Um, both of our organizations were started by the same man, Ian Player, a South African, who saved the white rhino from extinction with his Zulu brother, Makubu Ntombela. This is back in the early 60s. So the white rhinos you see here, were made possible because of their work. Um, no, no, thank you. Um, <clears throat> Andrew couldn't make it. He sends his greetings. Um, I'm happy to step in for you. I've never been here. This is my first visit here. Um, but what I really wanted to do was to come here and say thank you. Uh, the Conservation Fund of Bush Gardens Corporate and Bush Gardens in general um, came to us about, I don't know, maybe it's five years ago. Because, you know, like everything now is 
more than two years ago. Right? <laughs> and um, they said, we want to support you. So very briefly, um, here's just a partial rundown of the impact, because we're all about impact. We need, as nonprofit organizations working around the world for wildlife and for people, we need to deliver impact for dollar donated. So, um, very quickly, let's see. Um, basic wildlife protection. Um, Bush Garden Conservation Fund's support for us um, in direct action. Um, I don't know. Uh, we work in mostly private game reserves because these are where most of the high value rhino populations are, with the exception of Kruger National Park. And uh, maintenance vehicles, communications equipment, uh, communications towers, um, uh, electronic fencing. Sure, have my attention. Um, so, um, most importantly, in, in direct protection, we support the rangers. Many, many dozens of rangers who work 24-7 on shifts, patrolling in one of the most dangerous occupations in the world. And uh, the Conservation Fund has made that possible. Now, that's one part of it. Direct action is kind of what everybody knows. It's, it's anti-poaching. It's very, it's very cool to us. It's bloody dangerous. And it's, it's men and women now, in the last few years, who are out there on the front lines, okay? Um, wildlife direct protection is important, but you gotta know what you're doing. So we have something that we discreetly call our Wildlife Operations Unit. And this has been super important, because it's hard to fund. You know, funding rangers and trucks and, and, and all that is, is hard, but it's easier than when you say to somebody, I need to, fund a network of informants, of uh, vehicles, of observers across the country, in rural areas, in the ports, in the airports. Um, we formed the first, basically, wildlife intelligence unit cooperating in the southern part of Africa with all of the agencies and all of the NGOs, the nonprofit organizations involved. Had never happened before because of the Conservation Fund in Bush Gardens. Our, our liaison officer that runs that logged almost 50,000 kilometers in two years connecting the dots. Amazing the work that happens when you quietly support local people who want to do the right thing, but they also are under threat. Okay, so we do all that, but you also have to know more about what you're doing. So a science program, right? Um, data analysis on, unfortunately, poached rhino, DNA analysis, scat analysis, some living rhino, because you need to create a database of what you've got, what's your inventory, right? Um, that's been very important, and what you probably don't know is that we also included lions in that, because lions are now becoming highly uh, threatened in Africa. So we did the first study of uh, lions in uh, the, the Kruger National Park um, as a risk assessment. Where are we going with this? And that was, again, made, made possible by our friends here. Um, what else? Uh, you know, policy, science, research. We put collars on three dozen black rhino to track them. Last but not least, um, we also focus on leadership. We focus on young people. So we chose 10 schools in different areas of South Africa serving um, uh, underprivileged, uh, underserved youth and uh, took 70 of them over a year and a half period for three-day experiences in the wilderness, which they never get to do, right? And, we, we, and, and this is actually one of our, our specialties. I gave them three-day immersion experiences and then followed up with them for a year and helped to shape their conservation careers. So, you know, it's science, it's policy, it's protection, but it's... It's the future, it's the next generation. And this is what the Conservation Fund has a, 
has, has uh, supported. When you think of all that, you think this must be millions and millions of dollars. The thing is, what the Conservation Fund knows and what we help to enable them is that the exchange rate of dollars to South African Rand, or where we also work up in West Africa um, in a very dangerous area, the exchange rate. So for basically $300,000 converted to five and a half in South African Rand. And man, you can get some stuff done for that. So I wanna say thank you to the Conservation Fund and Bush Gardens, and thank you to you, bless you. Thank you, Vance. We, we really are truly honored to be a part, uh, partners with you. Tonight, we celebrate the opening of our 10th roller coaster, Iron Gwazi. You're almost there. With more roller coasters than anything parked in the state, Bush Gardens is the thrill capital of Florida. But we are so much more than that. With a fully accredited zoo, with thousands of animals representing more than 200 species, with world-class entertainment and exciting seasonal events all year long, like the Bush Gardens Food and Wine Festival, which you can sample tonight. And with Tampa's Island Paradise, Adventure Island, where this year we are debuting two new water slides. We have something for everyone. But that's not what makes our park special. You see, what makes our parks come alive every day are the thousands of ambassadors who are dedicated to creating unforgettable experiences. It is our people who create experiences that matter, experiences that thrill, experiences that inspire, and experiences that you can do together with your friends and family. Our ambassadors make the difference, and I am honored to work alongside each of them. <laughs> to the hundreds of people who have worked on Iron Gwazi and everything we have done to bring this incredible attraction to life, I thank you. And now, we are just moments away from launching our first official riders to kick off tonight's celebration. On board, representing the many heroes on the front lines of the global pandemic, please welcome our partners from Tampa General Hospital. So I got a question for you. Are you ready to release the beast? With the push of that button, Iron Quasi will officially be open. So please join me in a countdown from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Iron Gwazi. Enjoy the night.